Hello everyone, in today's video I'll show you how to create a bar chart in Excel, also called clustered column chart. And in our example I'll show you how to create the chart not only with one bar per series but with two. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll just get rid of this graph and we can start. Alright, let's say we work for a company and we are analyzing the amount of sales report and you want to put this information into a cluster column graph so first select insert menu and here in the charts group select this icon which is the chart bar chart uh, graph and select the first option which is the clustered column chart i'll make it a little bit bigger now we need to populate our chart we need to add the values to do that right click over the chart area and click on select data and now we need to insert our series we have two series in our example sales and lost but let's start with sales click on add and then excel will ask you a series name to add the name you can either type sales or you can select the cell that contains the value that you wanted the title of your series to be. And for series value, click in this button on the right side of the field and select the range that contains the information. Enter and OK. Notice that Excel automatically add numbers in your horizontal axis, but we don't want the numbers, we want the month. So click on edit and select the month range okay notice that excel add the title of the graph as the same as the title of your series and that's because we only have one series for one graph now let's add the second series and see what happens right click over the chart area select data add now the series name will be lost series value will be the lost range enter and enter okay notice that the title of the graph has disappeared and that's because now we have two series in our chart so the title of the graph will be no longer the title of one of the series we need to enter the title manually so how do we do that select the chart area and here on the top right we have this menu called chart elements and if it's not here if you don't have enough space on the right it will show up on the left so click on that and select chart title once the title is added you can select any type whatever you want or with the title field select you can click on the formula bar type equal sign and select the cell that contains the title of your graph and you click enter in this way, the title of your graph is linked to a cell. So every time that this cell uh, changes and it is updated, the title of the graph is automatically updated as well. Now I want to change the colors of our graph. The lost series is matching uh, by coincidence, but let's update the sales range in the graph to match the green. So right click over the sales range. And in this button called, called Fill, click on that and you can select the color. So I'll make it green. Now I want to add the labels for our chart. I want the numbers on the top of each bar. Once again, right click over the series and select Add Labels. And I will do the same thing for the last series. And once the labels are here, you can select them and change the colors and change the font size and everything else i'll just change the colors to match with the series another thing that i think it's valid is to add the vertical axis title because the horizontal axis is pretty straightforward we can understand that they are months but this number we don't know if they are thousands of dollars if they are a number of projects or something else so select the chart area, chart elements, and select axis title. And when you do that, notice that Excel will add the axis title for both horizontal and vertical axis. But you only want it for the vertical axis. So we'll unselect it 
and the, I'll click on this arrow on the right side of the axis title and I'll select only primary vertical and I'll add for instance um, number of uh, projects last thing that I think will be a valid to add is the legend of the graph because if you're looking just the graph itself not the table we don't know which series is which um, so let's add the legend select the chart areas again chart elements and the legend by default excel will add the legend on the right the one on the bottom so select the arrow on the right part of the legend and select the bottom and here we have our graph another way a shortcut to create a cluster column graph is select your table the range of your table select and select the cluster column uh, graph with your table selected notice that we have the same raw graph that we had before however what is the downside of doing that if you have a lot of columns or a lot of lines and some of them you don't want to add in, in your chart this could be a little bit uh, tricky for Excel and you end up with the wrong chart. That's why I like to teach and to explain how to do it from scratch. So here we have our final result. So this was our today's video. I hope you like it. I hope it was helpful for you. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, suggestions or comments, put it down in the comment section so I can read it and work on that. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.